Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Moose. This is Moose Henderson Photography. Today we're going to be talking about how to make greeting cards and we're going to be making these greeting cards in Photoshop and I'm going to assume that you have a fairly good knowledge about how to use Photoshop. You can also do this in Lightroom and various other programs. Uh, the program I'm familiar with is Photoshop, so that's going to be the one that I'll be using. Now, I imagine it is possible to do greeting cards by doing just regular photo paper and things like that. I tend to use specific greeting card paper by Red River Paper, and I'll put a link down below for ordering paper and various other supplies they carry not only the paper, and I use 7 by 10 paper, which when folded in half will give you a 5 by 7 card. I also use their clear bags that they sell to put the uh, card into. And I also order from Red River Paper the envelopes that are custom made for that particular size of cards. I could order the envelopes from another supplier, but I find it's just easier to order them all from the same uh, company. I also can order these little plastic boxes, and I think these boxes will easily hold 10 cards and 10 envelopes. And if you're selling your cards through a commercial establishment, which they'll sell like sets of cards, that's a really nice way to organize the cards into sets. Now let's go ahead and go on to the computer and take a look at how I download the templates and actually set up my Photoshop files for printing. Since I'm using Red River Paper, they have a template on their website that I can download that makes it a lot easier to print and format the greeting cards. So I go to my favorite browser, which happens to be Firefox. I type in Red River Paper Greeting Card Template. Helps if I spell it right. And I look down on the browser and the second one down is Greeting Card Templates. So I go ahead and click that and that brings me to their website and they have some tutorials on their website you can go and watch those tutorials or read those if you'd like to i've already done that in the past so i go directly to the photoshop card templates and i download those so once you click that it downloads that particular file, you open up that particular file, you extract it into your favorite folder, and then you go up and click the extracted file. And you can see that there's various choices here for the different size cards. I use seven by 10 cards. And so when you click that, there's a template for horizontal and there's a template for vertical. So depending on the orientation of your photograph, you click the particular type of template that you want. And I have clicked the one for horizontal and it comes up with a template on my Photoshop. From this template, I can go ahead and upload some photographs. So I'll go ahead and go to my desktop and I'll go in and find a photograph that I would like to place into this particular greeting card. So here we have a number of photographs in this particular file. And let's go ahead and choose the one with the moose in the autumn. Brought up a picture in Photoshop and I need to crop this picture to be able to fit in the greeting card and 6.75 by 4.75 is the size the greeting card tells you in the instruction to crop it. So I go ahead and select that with my crop tool and I go ahead and adjust this crop to 6.75 inches by 4.75 inches. Now the next thing I need to do is to actually size the image because all I did was crop it there. 
So I go into my image size tool and I set the width to 6.75 inches and the height to 4.75 with the resolution of 300 inches. And then I select it using the marquee tool and I do a control C and then I come over to the greeting card and I do a control V. Then I use the move tool to be able to move the photograph down and snap into place. And now I can turn the instructions off since I don't need to see the instructions and you can see that my image is now on the greeting card. Now if I'd like to have something on the back side of the card, I need to go ahead and put something there and I've already done this in the past. So I'll go ahead and open up the template that I've made in the past. I store it under printer files and it's in the 7x10 folder. And you see in here that there's a couple of files and I choose one of those files. And you can see that on the back of the greeting card, I have, you know, where it says photography and printing by by Moose Henderson Photography. And as you look at the layers area over here on the right hand side, you can see that there is a number of photographs that have been added as layers. And as you go up and click the eyeball on each one of these layers, it turns it on. And these are the various cards that I have formatted here and by using this layers option you don't have to redo it every time someone orders a particular card especially if you've done that card sometime in the past when you have the card that you want to print do control p for printing make sure the proper printer is selected and the number of copies you want to print then make sure that you have the color handling as Photoshop manages color and the proper printer profile. Then you go down and hit print. Once you hit print, then the computer will take over and it will send that particular file over to your printer. So you have a card, you just fold it in half, put it in the envelope along with the bag, and place it in the mail to your customer. So hopefully this has been helpful for you. If you would, please hit the thumbs up icon. If you have any questions, please post them down below in the comment section. And I'll see you again back here very soon on the next video. Thank you so much. Goodbye.